In this intermediate tutorial, we'll introduce you to freeform capture mode and provide some strategies to maximize the quality of your scans. In freeform mode, you're no longer constrained by the guide system and have complete freedom to collect data from anywhere and at any angle. This allows you to capture larger and more complex scenes, as well as things you can only physically access from a limited range of angles. Remember from guided mode that most objects can be captured by sampling three or more loops of data at different heights. You can always imagine guide loops hovering around your object to help ensure you collect enough data for a high quality result. Start a new capture and enable freeform mode via the top right hand corner. To collect data, lock the reticle on your target and hold down the capture button while slowly moving around the object. You can hold the phone in either landscape or portrait. If something disrupts your capture, you can pause sampling by simply releasing the capture button until you're ready to start again. When the reticle turns orange, it indicates you're moving the phone too fast, which can result in blurry or failed reconstructions. Be patient and work slowly, doing your best to keep the reticle blue as often as possible. The goal is to capture your target from as many angles as practical. The correct distance will vary from object to object, but a general rule of thumb is that you want as much of the object in the frame as possible. As you collect data, your samples will be represented with augmented reality markers, which keep track of your progress and help you visually identify gaps in your coverage. When working with complex objects or scenes, you can break down the scene into multiple target regions and capture rows or loops of data specific to each target. Towards the end of your capture, it should look like a sphere of data samples pointing inwards towards your target of interest. Use the AR markers to fill in any gaps and ensure you've captured data for everything you want represented. The finish button will enable once you've collected enough data to make a reconstruction. As you capture more complex things, you can expand upon this basic technique. One way to improve the quality of your backgrounds is to take a few steps back and shoot a loop of data low to the ground while pointing slightly upwards. You can also train your reticle onto background objects to collect data about them. Whenever capturing reflective materials, never let them fill the viewfinder completely and instead step back and give the engine a lot of environmental context to understand what's happening. As materials become more reflective, they become harder to shoot without capturing your own reflection in the frame. In these cases, try shooting wide-angle shots with several target regions around your scene, or try stepping back further. Similarly, as you move around your scene, avoid casting shadows on your target as they can become baked into your final output. Like with reflections, try stepping further away from the target, holding the phone away from your body, or shooting at wider angles as required. If shadows are impacting the quality of your outdoor scans, or you want to maximize the quality of your diffuse texture map, try capturing on a cloudy day or during twilight. Luma works best with static scenes. Movement of any kind, such as from wind, people, or cars, will noticeably degrade the quality of your output. Foliage is especially sensitive to wind, so always try to capture when it's calm for best results. When working with darker scenes, you must move even slower to avoid blurry data. There must be enough illumination in your scene for everything to be visible in the viewfinder. As a simple rule of thumb, avoid having regions of completely black pixels in your samples. Light sources can produce lens glare when captured at an angle. Always be on the lookout for glare and adjust your capture angles to minimize it as glare directly leads to noise in your capture. That's it for now. We look forward to seeing what you create with Luma.